Many dancers and a lot of people think that creativity is super difficult and you should have this special talent. Like someone can do that, I can't. Also people think that creativity is only for professions like dancer, artist or designer and not for the normal profession. Like accountant or taxi driver can't be creative. And today we're talking about creativity, dance creativity and more. Creativity is your ability to generate unusual ideas. And for example, in my dance style, it's to create new movements. Or in my teaching, it's create new systems or for example, information performance. But somebody can tell you that everything already exists, like every movements are already created or anything spinning in the spiral. Because we all have the arms, the legs, the head, the spins in our dance. And how is it possible to create something new because everyone have the same body parts? But let's see, for example, on speech, we all have language. For example, I'm speaking English and I have some English vocabulary in my toolbox. Not too much because my native language is Russian, but anyway, I want to give you some information through the words. But this words organization and performance skills help us to uh, get the brilliant thoughts into the speech. So many examples you saw when genius can change the world through the speech, like all the world can listen him. And dance too, new combination of the movements or different point of view, different angle of their vision can be super creative. I have some tips how to be creative in your dance style or any art form and let's understand what is this creative. And the first important aspect is watchfulness. Watch, seek, learn, enrich yourself and curiosity should be your main driving force. The closed mind giving you absolutely nothing. Because why should you get new creativity ideas when you're studying just a little bit in your subject or in another subject? Ideas never comes from nowhere. I'm imagining this like a piggy bank or money box and you put in ideas inside and you have to overfull yourself with your subject. For example, I love to do photo shoots and when I start to create new ideas, I'm trying to watch like 1 million photos and actually I have in a Pinterest different folders uh, with a lot of pictures like black, red and different ideas. And when you're working on your photo shoot, you can combine some ideas or you can create something new uh, when you put in the pictures together. And it's not necessary to absolutely copy these pictures and to steal somebody's ideas like copy and paste. It should work on you to train your aesthetic taste. Second one is focus. See what others can't see. Dance example, like this movement can look like this, but from this angle it looks like that. Or changing the arms, it looks different absolutely. So it's simple dance example how to change the angles and performance or body position, but you can apply this globally for all your dance life or teaching process for your dance group. Try to turn your everyday vision angle for something somewhere on a new point and maybe you can find something interesting or creative. And the focus also about how to see the little and small details that can absolutely change the full performance thing. The details is important. Third one, thoughts, speed and limitations. It's all about how much you can generate ideas in time interval. And I have the nice game for you. Take the paper and the pencil and draw seven circles on it. And you have one minute. Try to redraw in the seven circles into one minute for something different. For example, elephant, sun or something else. That's for example what I have. Look what's happening. But to understand how the brain works in other situations, draw something from these circles, but you have 40 circles and also the same one minute or maybe even less. The brain enters into the brainstorming mode and the most crazy ideas begin to appear and sometimes you can find these ideas amazing. Every dancer knows that you have different schedule in your dance life when you can create one choreography in six months or you can create 10 choreographies in one month 
or you can create one choreography per two hours, for example, and your time is limited. I saw many examples when dancers in limited and hard mode uh, created really genius examples, really genius choreographies. After all, it's not necessary that every idea should be correct and good. And also the best ideas never comes to you like immediately and exactly when you need. That's why more ideas, more good ones. For example, you have only three ideas and no one idea you don't like to. And you have 10 ideas, maybe one idea you satisfied it. And you have 100 ideas, maybe 10 you will like it. And just imagine if you have more than 1000 ideas. Number four, it's associations. In other words, try to travel to different worlds and try to find ideas there and connect them with your dance style. My personal example, when I'm trying to find new exercises for balance and vestibular apparatus work for dancers, I found really nice exercises from basketball. They try to focus on one point and jump different ways and focusing on the same uh, position in the space. You know, it's kind of joke. What's the common between ballet dance and basketball? I want to confess to you, I'm not the best in association. Some of the dancers doing their best. I created some movements from my life. I was inspired, for example, uh, mixed up in the cup something and this movement created. And I'm trying to add some head slides or a chest circle. And it's kind of cool stuff. But to drill your association skill, I suggest you a new game. So here's an illustration. You can find different patterns or shapes. Try to make the dance with it. So you have eight drawings and you have eight counts. Create a dance from this picture and if you got it, you can also send me your video. It will be my pleasure to watch it. Number five, imagination. What if? Here we will talk about violations of the stereotypes. I found one book named Psychology of Creativity by Eileen. I read a very interesting thought. The essence of creativity is the ability to overcome stereotypes and this requires a lot of great work. Considering the fact that the creative process includes two multidirectional trends. This is creation and at the same time the destruction of stereotypes. Therefore, creative act can be considered as creative destruction. Again, creative destruction. In other words, when you start to work on your creativity, on your ideas, you should forget about your previous work, about your previous experience. All the time think about what if. My example, I danced for a long time, belly dance, and I thought that this position, parallel position of the feet, can destroy my hips. But now I'm trying to use different feet position and my hip work the same quality. In your creativity, the dominant emotion is doubt. Makes changes, get rid of old principles and rules, and not only constantly seek at the evidence of existing ones. Number six, upgrade or improve. Because sometimes something new, it's new vision, on the old one. It's like unreleased potential of your old stuff. How often do you come back to your old project or maybe unsuccessful project? I want to confess that sometimes I'm completely not satisfied with some of the project. And now you have new project and you put all your energy there and you have no idea right now. What I'm doing, I'm trying to find new things in my old one, something interesting, maybe not working for that project, but it can work for a new project. And I'm trying to fix it, upgrade it, maybe do it a little bit better quality or change some details. And I'm doing cut, then bust, and here we are, new cool stuff. It's kind of upgraded fails. I really recommend to use it. Number seven, one of my favorite, improvisation. The ability of improvisation is a creative ability that involves your nervous process in your mind and improve your such an important skills as intuition, imagination, flexibility, and speed of thinking. Or not thinking. 
thinking. I really like unconsciously improvisation when you don't think, just be in flow and you will have more crazy ideas. I'm really lazy to making the video of my improvisation because I'm really so much often in that state like okay now and I'm doing improvise and I'm trying to remember the movements right now in this moment and when I think about okay where is my camera I need to put the camera I need to take a video with myself uh, my, my mood it's just disappear and my ideas just disappears for me it's really cool to dance right now improve right now and when I work in on new movement which I created during improvisation it's really comfortable to fix it after not during the process but I'm really recommend to make the video with your improvisation because on the screen you can see something new that also the different angle the different point of view and you can see something interesting therefore now Number eight, fixing ideas. That is my weak point. And unfortunately, how much I lost them, guys. That's why I'm trying to force myself to open the notes and write down and fix it when I have any idea about the dance or teaching or any idea in my life. I'm struggle with this and I'm highly recommended to find something. Uh, what you have exactly right now in your hands, phone or any paper or small notes paper in the fridge on the magnet. And it's not necessary to use these ideas right now or months later. Uh, I have some ideas what I actually found in my notes and I realize it after five years. This little piggy bank will help you. Number nine, cooperation. As much as we're trying to go away from our own stereotypes and trying to push in back your principles, anyway, globally in our mind, happening the same ways of thinking and the same principles of thinking because experience, background, your world vision, your principles too. And how is important to listen others and how is important to communicate with another creative people and our collaboration with them should be not dominant inside. What I mean, look at this picture. Here is the group, harmonious, beautiful, accurate. And here's the group and the individual. And all attention goes to the solo. This example all about how the attention is drawn to oneself, reducing the potential of the group. If you really want the productive cooperation, please sacrifice your authority, your experience. Because the goal in cooperation is to create atmosphere of creating ideas and the brainstorm when someone can give you ideas even this person never get it before i will tell you the last one i want to collaborate with you i want to ask you subscribe and recommend this video to your friends if you found it really helpful and if you have any questions comment below in this video and i will be twice happy if you find this useful and last one number 10 combinations if you google you can find really interesting information about uh, what common between wines, coins and books? Yes, of course you can buy the book and drink a wine and read that, but no, it's just about discoveries. Don't be afraid to combine even the most incompatible. That's why a lot of dance styles was discovered. Because, for example, tribal fusion, it's unbelievable combination between, for example, India, ballet dance and hip hop. How it's happened? Nobody knows, but it exists. And you can continue to find inside the connection between. After all, there are a billions of them. And no matter what exactly movement you're using and from which choreographer, you can use the same movement, but go through your body, go through your vision and the prism of worldview. You can combine this movement with another technique and you can create something absolutely new. Be creative, my friends, and create with a pleasure. And as Thomas Edison said, genius, it's only 1% of inspiration and 99% sweat. Thank you and see you in the next videos.